welcome to Manila. Manila is located on the island of Luzon. It is one of the most densely populated cities on the planet. It's known for its incredible history, lively street scenes, and diverse culture, and of course, for being home to some of the friendliest people on the planet. People here so far have been extraordinary friendly. Everybody's greeting you with smiles and everything. Just like this, what's up guys, how we doing? What's up, what's up? In this video, we're going to show you the top things that you can't miss the next time you're here in Manila. One of the most popular things to do here in Manila is to come visit Fort Santiago in the walled city of Intramuros. Intramuros is one of the oldest districts here in Manila and dates back to 1571. The fort is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and only costs 75 pesos to get in. Visiting Intramuros and Fort Santiago provides a glimpse into the rich history of the Philippines under Spanish rule. Fort Santiago features historical exhibits, dungeons, and gardens, allowing visitors to immerse themselves in the area's fascinating past. Overall, a visit here offers a unique opportunity to explore the Philippines' colonial heritage and appreciate its significance in shaping the country's identity. Manila, being a city with a rich history and strong Catholic influence, is home to several beautiful churches and cathedrals that you might want to visit. As you're walking through Intramuros neighborhood, don't miss all the churches and cathedrals. We're right here in front of Manila Cathedral. It's so beautiful with all the ornate details. A short walk away from the Manila Cathedral, the San Augustine Church has stood as one of the pillars of the Catholic and colonial past for more than five centuries. The next stop you can't miss is Rizal Park, right here in the heart of Manila. The massive park is named after the national hero, Jose Rizal, and is home to historical monuments, lots of greenery, and food stalls. There's such a great atmosphere here. There's so many people here enjoying on a Sunday. It's a really great place to come and relax after the hustle and bustle of the city. There's some great museums to choose from while you're here in Manila. We decided to go to the National Museum of Natural History. The National Museum of Natural History in Manila is a modern museum dedicated to showcasing the natural wonders of the Philippines. It features a wide range of exhibits covering biodiversity, geology, and environmental conservation. One of its main attractions is the Tree of Life, a stunning centerpiece that rises through the museum's atrium. We really enjoyed the architecture, seeing many of the animal displays including the Philippine eagle, the sperm whale skeleton, and the famous alligator named Lolong. How wild is this crocodile? This thing was alive in 2011. That is blowing my mind. And he died in 2014. The longest crocodile to ever be caught. That thing is massive. We also loved how interactive the museum was. Whether you're a nature enthusiast, a student, or simply curious about the wonders of the Philippines, this museum is definitely worth a visit. <laughs> After some sightseeing, head over to the SM Mall of Asia. It is the fifth biggest mall in the world and the biggest mall here in the Philippines and they have their own sports arena, which just blows my mind. Wow, it is so crazy here, right? Busy. Busy. So busy. Even if shopping isn't at the top of your list for things to do, it is definitely worth checking out. After resting in the air-conditioned mall and resetting with some food, it's time to walk along the boardwalk. This is a really great atmosphere, right, for families? A bunch of rides, like a little mini carnival. And it's Sunday, so everybody's out. There's kids and families everywhere. Really great energy, right? We got our first local beers. So San Miguel, Pale Pilsen, and Red Horse. I love all the families hanging out. There's a bunch of rides for the kids. Another thing to do here is visit Manila Ocean Park. We bought our tickets online, so we have to wait in line when we get here. They were $13 a person. I think they're about $15 here. The aquarium is home to 14,000 marine creatures, all indigenous to the Philippines and Southeast Asia. The main attraction is this walkway with an incredible underwater view. 
We saw sharks, stingrays, and so many different types of fish. This place is definitely worth checking out, especially if you have kids. There are so many great exhibits at the Manila Ocean Park. They have a penguin exhibit, a whole section on creepy crawlies which display spiders, lizards, snakes, and lots of other reptiles. The jellyfish were our favorite exhibit. It was so magical to walk through watching the jellyfish dance with the music and changing colors with the lights. Another thing to do here in Manila is explore the markets. This morning we're exploring Salcedo Market. This market's only on Saturday from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Salcedo Market takes place at Jamie Velasquez Park. It reminded us of a higher-end farmer's market and offers a vibrant atmosphere where locals and tourists gather to enjoy a wide array of food, produce, artisanal products, and handicrafts. Everyone was super friendly and we got to meet so many new people and try several yummy dishes. These are freaking delicious. That's yummy. We visited the Ugbo Street Food Market. This market opens around 5 p.m. and gets very busy. There are so many yummy things to try. We had amazing grilled scallops, fried rice, and a delicious Filipino snack called dynamite. This is so good. And so many other yummy treats such as halo halo. The beans are actually pretty good there. There are also some more adventurous options if you want to try something a bit outside of your comfort zone. It kind of looks like worms a little bit. Yeah, it looks like worms. Way better than I thought. We highly recommend going to a basketball game if you get the opportunity. Basketball is the most popular sport here in the Philippines. And we went to a PBA game at the Mall of Asia Arena. You can buy tickets the day of or book your tickets in advance online. All right, we're in. All right, just got our seats. Here we are. There's the court. The crowds were so passionate and it was so fun interacting with the locals. Last but not least is to go explore a local neighborhood. We love getting to know a city outside of the typical tourist sites and getting insight into local life. The Philippines is home to some of the friendliest and most welcoming people that we have ever met and we loved spending time walking around our area in Mandaluyong trying local snacks the chicken's so good. and getting to know everyone. It was definitely a highlight of our trip. Beautiful guys, thank you so much for everything. You go, nice to meet you, you go, huh? Dan, thank you, sir, thank you. Have a great day, huh? <laughs> the local people are so friendly and accommodating. Couldn't ask for a better start here. Super excited to show you guys the rest of the series. Love you all, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Of course, there are so many more things to do in Manila, but these are the things that we enjoy doing, and hopefully this video gives you some ideas for your next trip to Manila.